I think homelessness is still a, a, a problem in Scotland, but it, it's changed since I was first involved in 1993. In those days, uh, there was many more people uh, on the street and there was a much more acute problem. It's kind of changed now. Um, there's not so many people on the street, but there's still issues about families and, 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 and people uh, ending up uh, being homeless um, as a result of unemployment. The, the, there's a significant problem of, of homelessness in East Lothian. There are official figures that tell you one story, uh, and those official figures really are around the number of people who actually approach the council and say, I think I might be homeless. Uh, those figures are probably around between 1,100 and 1,200 a year at the moment within East Lothian. Uh, but that doesn't fully reflect homelessness throughout the local authority area because there will be lots of people who never apply as homeless in the first place or there will be lots of people who might approach other agencies like ourselves uh, and we manage to work with that person to prevent homelessness occurring. I think a lot of people don't like to admit they're homeless. They probably feel that stigma, that they feel ashamed, that they will move around family, friends, they'll stay with relatives and, you know, kind of eventually run out of places to stay and at that point probably approach the, the homeless section and by then they might have accrued a huge amount of debt, maybe lost a job, got some illnesses that they didn't have before, etc, etc. So I think it's one of these things that, unless it's staring you right in the face, people don't really think about it. When I was 22, I became homeless. A couple of things happened in my, my, my life that kind of weren't so good. Um, fell, fell out with my girlfriend and ended up on the street. And... Obviously, being a young, I was fortunate enough to be in, put into a young person's um, homeless unit. Um, but I, I could see there was loads of homelessness around at the time. I didn't know what homelessness was until I was actually a part of it. Well, I mean, you know, somebody might, you might fall out with the, 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 the mother or father, and, might, and it might be for simple financial reasons. Uh, and I mean, there's a lot of uh, unemployment around just now, and, and, and simply what happens is, uh, in, within the household, uh, they can't afford uh, for the young person who's maybe become 16 or 17 to stay in the house. And so what happens is the person comes out of the house, uh, thinks that they can get the house somewhere else or get some other accommodation and can't and end up being homeless. Well, it was me and my mum weren't getting on really, just arguing a lot and relationships falling apart and she just says to me one day, don't be in the house when I come back for work, so I wasn't. I've been here since. I've just never done what I was really supposed to do. It's like, oh, leave that, I'll do what I want to do. Even though I was living under like, like my mum's roof, I was expected to do something, but I was just like, ah, leave it and then just go out and come back in like early was in the morning after night out and stuff like that like so things like that you know just never be by the rules <laughs> it was just a relationship breakdown and no having my own personal space my mum's only got a two bedroom quite a small flat and i've got two wee sisters one's 13 well one's 13 now and seven and then me and my mum weren't getting on it was constant arguments over who had this space who had that space and just at the age I was at, and obviously my mum, we were too much alike and it just was causing problems, so we had a big relationship breakdown and I didn't have any personal space to like my sale or anything like that, so. Yeah, I just feel like my family who I lived with and just a breakdown and like the relationship and everything never worked, so just got told to leave basically. <laughs> East Lothian is a very popular area to live in. I think um, affordable housing is very, very difficult to come by, uh, let alone for a young person uh, you know, between the ages of 16 and 25, um, um, some, of, some of whom don't have that kind of uh, um, disposable income, may not be in work. 
uh, maybe at college, maybe at university. So there's a, an acute lack and shortage of um, uh, appropriate, affordable housing that young people in, in maybe years gone by have been able to access. Rather than putting up all these fancy, fancy houses and flats, I think more money should be invested in affordable housing that people can maintain and feel proud to be in rather than say, all oh, right, OK, we'll, we'll, we'll move you out a, a homeless project, we'll move you into flats that no, nobody else wants to live in. Mm -hmm. That's not going to help it. It's just going to make people feel worse. You're putting them into areas that are riddled with crime and drugs. So if these people are to move on, how can they move on? Because you're putting them back into old haunts. Well, I think if families sort of had more support together, like in my case it was arguments, like if there was more support for families that way, or like people on the street, like if they were given more help and accepted more help, turn them off drugs, if that's the case for them and stuff like that. Eh? It's easy to say to try and find a way around it, but sometimes there's no always a way around so then. You just have, I suppose you just have to try and make the best of what you've got, instead of just feeling kind of like ungrateful or kind of somebody's getting more than you and stuff like that. Just try and stick it out, make the best of what you've got and try and stay at home for as long as you possibly can. Tell them to obey by the rules. <laughs> mm. That's what I would do, just do what you've got to do. Um, what they tell you, just do it. And then that'll keep them quiet, stop arguing, just stop getting thrown out, kind of stuff like that as well, you know what I mean? Just homeless, you know what I mean? It's just it's just the word that makes everybody think, oh, you're a tramp, <laughs> can you like that, you know what I mean? So, just I, that basically. I think it's because, like, when, especially, like, you've seen stuff wouldn't the news and they always speak bad about homeless folk and you see stuff in papers and you see, you see people can out on the streets and can, uh, they are, they are tramps, but that's the best way you can put it, but, it's a bad attitude to have towards somebody when you think it like that because you don't know what they're going through. You don't know how they've ended up there. You don't know what happened in their life. You don't know. You don't know anything basically. So it's it's a bad state to judgment. Most people would believe that people that are homeless deserve to be homeless because they're all on drugs or they got kicked out because they were in debt and things like that. But really, it can just be simple little things like arguing, like my case. I think people need to be more educated about homelessness because they, again, think it's people, they don't think about places like this and like it's really hard here and like, it's a nice place to be just now but like obviously being with your family is better and like homeless isn't a good like option for you and people just need to realise a lot more that we are in like tramps and everything so yeah I think people just need to be more educated. Well, I don't know if you, there was a programme on the television about people, celebrities, who went underground and became homeless and lived the life of a homeless person. And within about 12 hours, I think they were all screaming to get back to their warmth and their, their big houses. Because, not so much, I think, for the, the comforts, the home comforts, but because they were invisible and that people treated them with total contempt. And I think that feeling, they had never experienced it. And that was the thing they found the hardest, was to actually become invisible and to be worthless.